All right, today I wanna to talk to you very briefly about how we can go ahead and make our exercises more challenging without actually having to add weight. And in many cases, we can actually reduce the weight and create more of a challenge and start engaging uh, more of our stabilizers and uh, getting more neurological um, interactment, right? Really wake up our nervous system as we're trying to perform exercises. We're gonna do this with the kettlebells in what we call the bottoms up position or maybe possibly the bells up position. Uh, different people refer to it differently. It doesn't matter. The same concept as this. The kettlebell will be balanced in this position. So one of the keys here is my elbow is stacking the top of the bell through the handle, but this now creates this balance that's happening, right? And you have this communication happening through your body through the lift that's constantly making these little micro adjustments to try to control the weight and keep it balanced throughout the lift, throughout the movement. This is something that we don't get when we're using a straight bar, right, as much. Uh, and definitely we don't get when we're using a machine because we're locked, locked in a fixed motion, right? So our ligaments, our tendons, our stabilizers get neglected through doing these heavy lifts on these machines or with these straight bars, and then we go into actual real life functional movement, we find ourselves getting injuries because our stabilizers never actually got developed. So this is a trick um, that we can do to start implementing that, and it becomes very challenging. This is one of the things that I do with my clients as I'm trying to have people rehab through injuries, or if they hit training plateaus, we can do this. So here's a few examples. I'll do a chest press. Most of us can do a heavy chest press with, obviously you know if you're on a machine, you can do more with your chest press than with a straight bar. And then it's less if you're doing dumbbells because now your dumbbells are balancing. So this would be one step more advanced than doing dumbbells because now we're balancing the weight above our hands. So even getting into this position is a challenge in its own without having someone spot me. So let me demonstrate this and then we'll do a few exercises showing how we can incorporate these stabilizers through our lifts <clears throat> with some very simple movements that we're already doing in the gym, right? That we can now do with the kettlebells. So in this case, I'll bring these kettlebells onto my legs. I'm gonna do a wedge or lift my knees up to get into position. And the trick for me here is to get my elbows underneath the handles with the bells stacked over top of them to get my balance. All right, there we go. So this is more advanced doing two kettlebells at once because I'm multitasking my brain to balance both at the same time. So you can see each one's wanting to do its own thing. And my body is making these micro adjustments. I keep my elbows out so they stay stacked below the handle to the top of the bell. Now these here, I'm able to lift, these are 31 pounds, right? I can do this heavier, obviously, with a, a bar or dumbbells or whatever, but for me to maintain this balance, right? 31 pounds is challenging. If I were to do one kettlebell, I could do more weight, right? Because I have less things to focus on, but to focus on two kettlebells at the same time, right? It's way more fatiguing than just doing it normally. So let's look at a few other exercises we can do. We can do, let's say, um, a shoulder press, or let's do a pull to rack. So I'll catch the rack here, right, into this position, then I'll go with a heavier one. So for this, we have a 60 pound kettlebell, and again, I can do this exercise here, where I come up and catch in the rack position. Once I'm here, there's not much more neurological communication going on. It's a lot of core to hold it in position. But now when I come up, I'm gonna to try to balance it above and catch it, really lock into my core, really focus on that balance, right? <clears throat> so again, here we are. So a lot more is engaged right here to keep this balanced. Okay, so again, similar exercise, much more taxing on me 
to maintain that. We can also do this with our windmills. So let's say I was going to do a windmill. Very hard. So you can see in that, trying to keep that coordination, that balance through the lift, okay? I'm even losing my breath, just trying to talk to you guys about it, okay? Similar, if we were to do a shoulder press, you guys get the point. But basically, any of the lifts that I'm already doing, now become more challenging as I try to maintain the balance and coordination to control the lift. So give that a shot. Be careful you don't hit yourself in the face with the kettlebell. You can use your support hand as a catch, right? Give it a shot. Let us know what you think in the comments.